What is up everybody? This is Carl from Tech for Goodies. And today we are taking a look at a hard drive enclosure, not any hard drive enclosure. This is the San Zhang Master M.2 NVMe and SATA SSD drive enclosure. Now at the past, we have looked at drive enclosures and I've always talked about how having sort of a really flexible solution around what drives you're using to store your data or transfer your data is really important. But this is the first opportunity that I've had to try out sort of the M.2 NVMe enclosure that allows you to basically take a small NVMe drive like this, put it inside of an enclosure, and then move it around your house. Let's say you go from your laptop to your desktop to your Xbox to whatever sort of will accept an external hard drive, this gives you the ultimate flexibility and sort of the ultimate speed. So again, thanks to the folks at Sanzang for sending this over. That way I can share it with you. We can try it out, see how fast it is, see how good it is, see if it's something we wanna use long-term. So in the box, should be pretty basic. We have the hard drive enclosure itself, which is basically a toolless enclosure that allows you to hook up through USB-C to either you probably to USB A or USB C. So let's take a look at the cable here. And yep, it looks like we have a USB C cable to a USB A 3.0 connector. But also, if you pop this off, you have the ability to go from USB C to USB C, which is the ultimate in in terms of how fast you can transfer stuff um, from this hard drive. Okay. And like I said, I've also got a little Western Digital one terabyte M.2 drive here that we can put into the device. And also in the box here, we've got a little rubber grommet to be able to sort of connect right here. As you can see, there's a little bit. Normally, if you're on a motherboard, you'll have a screw that comes and screws that down. So this is a toolless device so that you don't have to worry about using a screw. They give you this thermal pad and this thermal backing. That way we can kind of put this together and make sure that the heat dissipation works appropriately. So in order to open this, if you can see here, there's a little arrow on the back side of this. Just basically slide it sideways like that. And then you can take off the back part. And then this part simply slides off. All right, so as you can see in here, let me kind of hold this up so you can get a really good view of it. There's a little slot in here for you to be able to slide the M.2 drive in here. And then you'll also notice that there's multiple spots where you can go ahead and put those little rubber stoppers. Now, one of the things that's really important to note about this drive is that it has a very wide support for the different types of NVMe M.2 cards, right? You have ones that are very short, um, and I don't know all the specifications right off the top of my head, but it's compatible with M.2, SATA, PCIe, M key, PCIe, BM, B and M key, and SSD. Each one of them might have a different length. You can see here that this one has the longest of the lengths, right? So it's gonna come all the way out here. But if I, I can also, I'll throw a graphic up here on the screen so you can see that some of them may be shorter lengths, and this basically allows you to support each one of those different types. These NVMe drives can actually get pretty warm. So what they've given you is sort of a heat distribution layer right here, and I'll show you how to do that. So basically, if you can see here, they've got self-adhesive backing for this thermal paste here. So we can go ahead and put this on right here to make sure that we're covering the chips to get the most sort of heat dissipation from that. And then from the top side here, we can also take off the plastic and then put this over top. And what that does is it basically gives you these fins here that sort of dissipate the heat and allow for that heat transfer to happen. So once that's set up, and again, an important part to note is if you are buying an NVMe for this drive, you don't really wanna buy one that already has a heat sink built on it. You kinda of wanna buy the most basic one you can have here so that way you can use their heat sink on the inside. So next step is simply just popping it into the slot here. pushing it down, and then you can use their little grommet here. It's very difficult to see and I have big hands. Okay, so the grommet's now installed and we'll hold that into place. And then all we have to do is basically put everything back together. And now we are ready for use. So what I'm gonna do here is jump on the computer. We'll plug the USB-C into one side. 
and we have now have a perfectly ready to go portable NVMe drive, probably the fastest transfer speeds you can have based on whatever port you're using on your computer. We'll do a couple of speed tests on the computer, see how it comes out. So let's go ahead and do a real world test where we take a video. All right, so this is a six gigabyte video, right? So I'm having to deal with a lot of different file sizes. So we're gonna go ahead and toss this directly onto the volume here, paste. And look how fast that's going. That's a six gigabyte file and it's copying over in about, ah, maybe about five seconds. And that is a ridiculous amount of speed. I've used multiple SD drives before and I just, and I've also transferred over the network before and stuff like that just takes forever. That is absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to do that again. <laughs> we will actually do this. We'll copy all three of these. So this is 10 gigabytes worth of video right here. And blazing through, taking approximately 15 seconds to copy. So that shows you the absolute power behind having an M.2 or NVMe enclosure and sticking your own drive in there. All right, so let's put this thing to the test. I got a couple other things to try it out on. I got my iPhone here. Now for the iPhone, because I don't have a iPhone 15 yet, I have to use this little adapter. So let's go ahead and plug this in. And this adapter for the iPhone in particular, for the lightning cable, requires some additional power. So we'll plug that in, make sure your phone is charging, then plug in the old NVMe drive. You can see here that the NVMe drive is now showing up on my phone, so that's awesome. Um, and this is also, remember, this is connected through Lightning and through USB 3.0. So you're not gonna get the full USB-C speeds, but you will get the maximum speed that you can out of that connection. So let's go ahead and just copy uh, like a four gig file here. We'll copy this, we'll bring this back to my phone under VLC, and we will paste. Check and see how long that's gonna take. That took about seven to eight minutes to copy over. If I click this, it brings up VLC, and there's the video right there on my phone ready to go. And that would be good for transferring between my phone and my computer. So let's go ahead and also try out the iPad because that has USB-C built in. Alrighty, so I got my iPad here. Let's go ahead and jump on in. In the files application, this does not require external power because it's USB-C. We're gonna go ahead and plug this in. Yep, and now it's showing up here. Go ahead and click this. And I am gonna click, uh, I am gonna grab that four gig file. We'll see how fast that copies over. On my iPad, VLC, paste. Oh, that's, that's flying. 27 seconds remaining. <laughs> for a four gig file, 27 seconds in total. So that's awesome. So, so if I wanna be able to copy things over to this iPad or off the iPad, if I use it for recording, that's gonna be blazing speed, I love it. All right, click that, opens up VLC, and there I am. Excellent. So that worked good. What else can we try? So I ended up going downstairs to try out the NVMe drive on my Android TV. So I plugged it in loaded up the Android TV, went to the file manager, and there it is. I can basically just toss movie files or video files on here and play it right on my Android TV. Very nice. Again, only a couple of seconds it took basically to open this up, stick your NVMe drive on the inside of there, no tools necessary, pop this open, slide off the top, stick the drive in there. And in fact, if you have multiple drives, you can swap between them on the off chance that you have some backup stuff on one drive and you don't wanna open up your computer to try to have to slide in the NVMe drive, you can actually use this enclosure to just pop it in here and do all the copying that you want and with blazing speed. I was, I'm blown away by how fast that went compared to what I've been dealing with with the video files up till now. And again, the fact that they kind of give you this USB-A and a USB-C convertible sort of cord here um, makes it widely compatible with like, a, like so let's say your TV, if you want to watch a movie on your TV, your Xbox, your laptop, your desktop, anything that kind of accepts a USB uh, external device, your phone, your iPad, all that kind of stuff uh, is already set up and this just becomes a standard hard drive on whatever you plug it into. So again, wow, thanks to the folks at Sanzang for sending this over. I appreciate it. I love being able to share stuff like this with you all. 
And the fact that that thing had blazing speed when I tried to copy 10 gigabytes worth of data over, I'm sold. This is my new transfer drive. I'm no longer going to be transferring things over my internal network because it's slow. Again, this is the Sanzang Master M.2 NVMe external hard drive enclosure. Okay. It's not all built in. You have to provide your own NVMe drive. But once you do that, pop it in there and you are good to go. So I think we got a winner. Thanks for watching this. If this helped you, hit like, give me a subscribe. But until next time, this is Carl from Techful Goodies, and I'm out.